hibiscus drink aka zobo <laughs> aka sorrel drink aka rosel drink hi love you're welcome back again to my vlog my name is Eber. if this is your first time of stopping by thank you so much and hi it's nice to meet you so in here we talk everything and anything surrounding motherhood and I also like to create DIY videos so today I'm going to be telling us how I was able to shed some weight after undergoing a cesarean section let me first of all point out that our bodies are amazing and so if yours is taking some time to snap back that's totally fine so just take it one step at a time and also know that your body is just unique it's just different it's not deformed the second one is that I'm not an expert so this is just what has worked for me so be sure to check in with your healthcare provider to know if it's okay for you to do some certain things the first one on my list is hot water hot water works for me and how i do it is i take very hot water just like when you want to take um, yam pepper soup or should i say hot tea but this time around you won't add anything it helps me a lot by pushing out leftover blood it's not only c-section if you give birth to vaginal delivery you're going to feel it in your system it works for me also know that you may need to incorporate diastasis rectile workouts into your routine so as to make all of this method effective i'm still on my diastasis rectile workout i'm still learning anything because I'm not actually where I want to be, even though there is um, results, but I still need to tone up my muscles and then try to close up my diastasis recti. So in case you do not know, diastasis recti is separation of your abdominal walls. They are separated and so your tummy bulges out. So just do your research. There are ways to find out if you have diastasis recti, but chances are that you have it, especially if this is not your first childbirth. This is my third childbirth and I started having diastasis recti from my second childbirth and you can research about diastasis recti and there are a couple of breathing exercises that you can do to close the gap. The second one is hibiscus drink aka zobo <laughs> aka sorrel drink aka rosel drink. What I do is after boiling my zobo drink, I just take it hot like that without sweetener or flavor just natural but you can add the, the pineapple or your orange or your dates but just as long as it doesn't have flavors or sweeteners it works for me now it's no longer a zobo drink it's now a zobo tea another one is wrapper grandma style that was what was in use before the invention of the belly wrap so you just tie it in half and then you can get someone to help you tie really tight at the back it was what i was using before i got the belly wrap so this helped me too and it's still helping me I, I i love the wrapper so much just that i cannot use it to go out so i got this it's super comfortable and it's very affordable so there are vendors that are selling as high as 15,000 naira, 12,000 naira, and so on but I mean we're trying to save money so I got mine from Jumia and I think I got it for 3,000 or so like if you can order from them that's fine I don't know if it's the same thing the goal is just to achieve same thing so that is that so if you've watched this video to this point please support me by giving this video a thumbs up and also subscribing to my channel thank you another one is intermittent fasting once it's 6 p.m. Just cross your mind that you won't eat any other heavy food. Yes, you tend to get hungry. You can have some healthy snacks by the side like coconut flakes. You can get that from the supermarket or you can make yours. You can also have some almond nuts by the side. And also if you invest in fiber rich foods like oats, that's what I take and I recommend it so much. You can have it in form of smoothie, you can take it like that, that swallow, that helps you because it's going to make you full while you also lose some weight, especially on your tummy. So that is that. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today guys. See you in my next vlog. Bye!